Hello, this is video from Alex. I'm going to show you how to test your PLC program. Let's say you have PLC program where you have uh, inputs connected to push buttons one and two, we have start and stop, start and stop. You have some mode selections for input number two, three and four. All right, number six is your extend base request. So it's a program for a winch, which is a um, very basic one. It's a hydraulic winch. It needs to be um, extended before you can wind in and wind out. And uh, has manual and auto mode. It doesn't have maintenance mode. This is just for... I don't know why for this other example. So anyway, so to test this program, which is right now we can see it has inputs already here coming, but it is all fake, it's not real. So because I have created this testing environment where I can simulate buttons. So I will show you how it works first. So you can see here pressure is zero. You can see start button is not um, uh, on. So what I do is I'm going to start this. So you saw the start button blinked and the pressure went up. Let's do it again. Stop it. It stopped. Pressure goes down. Start. Start and pressure goes up. So the hydraulic motor running got pressure. Now we want to wind in, wind out. This is wind in, this is wind out. We're going to change them now. So this is wind in and this is wind out. In the middle, it doesn't do anything. So let's remove the, the base back to the parking position. So it went back to parked. So now if I'm trying to do anything like wind in or wind down the operation, you can see in the program it is not doing because we have um, base extended bit as the um, uh, permission bit. So also pressure. So if I will go back to simulation and stop my pump, when I stomp, I can see the pressure goes zero. The pressure is zero. So I can try to run. It doesn't go run and off and on. So no winding in, no winding out. Extension doesn't work either because when extension base is input number six, waiting for manual mode, waiting for hydraulic pump is on, which is not on right now. How I can leave it in extended base, I select the switch in on and start the pump. And you can see when pressure reaches the limit, base position goes automatically. You can stop it, it goes back. So we can stop it at any time. So pressure drops, obviously, base uh, winch base stays in position where it was because no pressure, it doesn't move back and forth, the, the hydraulic cylinder needs the, the, the fluid going through, it needs the pressure. So it can start and goes to a particular pressure and goes back to parking position because it's not requested. So let's request it and wait till this bit goes on. When it's all extended, pressure's on, we can wind in again, we can wind out. So this is the uh, testing environment where we can simulate inputs and outputs and some hydraulic operations like um, cylinder position, pressure rising up and down and uh, winding status um, standby or in or on, um, standby winding in or winding out. So I'm going to show you how it looks here. So if I go there and I will show you the program, it looks like this. So we have 
some buttons here go into inputs we can see it goes to input zero to our plc and you can see this is the um ethernet ip node which you can get from um node red um palette yes so here it just appears here anyway so if you're familiar with node red you can find out and download this ethernet ip modules so also have hydraulics here where you can have outputs and inputs so if we have output for motor is running we have analog rises analog value rises from zero to 50 and um, i did create a program here so it does a little bit of um calculations to rise up and rise down hydraulic cylinder works on this particular way so it gives you position value gives you when it's extended it's true when it's retracted it's true on this side so this is how it works and this is my simulation demo here if i change it back this is a program yeah um hope you like this bye bye